Look at that, it is a beautiful sunny day here in Liverpool and I've had to drive to work for two reasons. Say hello. Hi. Hi. These guys are on... Uh, work shadow. Work shadow. Day. Yeah. Work, yeah. And they chose to shadow me for the day. Muppets. So now we're going to go film a video to um, help advertise Matt Edmondson's business. So we're going to be joined by Matt and the beautiful Sue Arden. He's such a smooth talking little talk. You've been trained He's really been trained well. super well. Hang out with guys. And well. tech genius. <laughs> Hang out with guys. Hang out with guys. So yeah, we're going to start the filming pretty soon. So I should probably switch this off. So. I got a question from an upstarter. So, Wednesday here at the office is, well, what can we call it? Video creation day. Upstarter and Upstarter Live and stuff with Sue, which was great, and Jersey. And now we're getting ready for e-commerce mastery. So we're just about to record a video for Upstarter Premium Club. Hi, my name is Matt Edmondson and welcome to the Upstarter Academy Premium Club. So that was a very long day in terms of content. We have shot a lot of video today, a lot of video. So I'm now going to go home, have a glass of wine and chill. How do you raise children to have positive self-esteem? Okay, this is one of those massive questions that I don't really feel that qualified to answer. I have raised and am raising three phenomenal kids. And there's a number of things that I'd say. One is obviously self-esteem comes from positive reinforcement and we have to catch our kids doing it right, right? We have to say, well done, that was great. Um, we have to tell them they're amazing and that we love them and we're proud of them. I mean, that's kind of obvious. I think we have to, and dads especially with boys, have to make their boys feel like, you know what, dad wants to be around me. He thinks I'm pretty cool. Um, I think that is essential for them. One of the things that I'm really not impressed with um, is the amount of images my daughter sees every single day telling her how she needs to look and how she needs to act and behave from TV shows to adverts to billboards to social media she must get bombarded with thousands and thousands of things super unrealistic expectations of what they should look like and who they should be even my boys right what they need to look like and, I think it's a really tricky one for parents and something that I I constantly have to talk to my daughter about and say what do you think to that photo why do you think that's there and help her realize that actually this stuff it's all photoshopped it's all fake and you can't build positive self-esteem on fake right you just can't do it so yes there's positive reinforcement but I think we also need to help them deal with the fake of the modern world and I would also say environments like school where they say things like you know what let's not do the competitive thing anymore even though it's not your best race we won't put the best runners in the hundred meter race so that we give the other kids a chance what's that all about that makes no sense to me whatsoever because i tell you what when they turn 16 17 18 and leave school they are in for a seriously seriously rude awakening because the world is just not like that and so teaching our kids that everything's fair and everything's nice and there's no competition and all that sort of stuff is complete and utter nonsense and I don't get it. And so part of the trick I think with the kids and having them have positive self-esteem is to realize actually the world's not fair, it is competitive, they are going to have challenges and actually as, 
as long as they know that I'm with them during that challenge, I'm not going to solve it for them. Rarely do we solve our boys' challenges, or even Zoe's challenge. Rarely do we do that. I think positive self-esteem comes when actually they realize if there's a challenge, they can figure it out for themselves and they can solve the problem for themselves. I feel like I'm getting on my soapbox a little bit about this.